So, I'm looking to play this thing down the end, well, maybe in the middle. Either way, he's trying to hold for the black. Yep, in the middle it goes. But unfortunately, it was always near jaw. It's the only way he could hold for the black, that, by keeping it just low. But it's never going to be an easy shot, is it? Be interesting to see how O'Sullivan plays here. We mentioned uh, all this about a snooker cue tip, which has uh, been changed a few times today. Fraser Patrick, who's a tour professional, came along and put a tip on for him. And uh, may not mean a lot to a non player. Great shot, though, to start with. Nice double. With only the red that he was playing, that he could leave. Yeah, so it'd be fascinating to see how he plays. If anyone can, with a brand new tip. Eight. Only O'Sullivan can, I suppose. Nine. Sixty. Seventeen. Well, there are a couple of reds out in the open, as you can see, but yeah, and going into them, it depends how he feels about this, really. I don't think he fancies it. The pack were a little awkward looking. Sometimes you just think, well, I'll go into these and I'll probably end up stuck on about two or three 24. reds. Twenty-five. It's a good shot. Choice of reds here. Certainly the one to the left of the two will pop. Thirty-two. That's the one. The one below it didn't go, actually. Wow. 33. Maybe it was the low camera angle that made it look like it was wide, but it uh, went in off the jaw. 40. So winning the frame, of course, is the most important priority. But he's currently on reds and blacks. 41. I think this time he doesn't have the angle to stay on the back anyway. As he wants to plow through the bunch, but if there's a snooker match of some importance and winning the frame will always come first. 49. Interesting choice here, very easy. Blue refused, more difficult green. <coughs> no, he cued it really well, actually. He looks sharper tonight already. I know he had a chance early. 52. With Jimmy White, the balls for both players, I thought, run awkwardly quite a lot. It's one of those matches you get every now and then. 53. Two ways of going into these. Top spin around two cushions with running side or with pace directly. Oh, that is a, just a wonderful shot. It was a little straight, but he made the angle perfectly. Beautiful. 58. This is well worth another look. Couldn't see it played any better. 59. Break is only four 59. and a half minutes old. Already Sullivan close to clinching the frame. Well, not clean, and it wasn't too far away from 66. rattling and staying out, as O'Sullivan's reaction indicated. But then it went. 
this red and the black and it's 67. one nil O'Sullivan. <coughs> Well, I think this is just what he needed, actually, a good start Not for obvious reasons, but just to give him a bit of confidence back because he, that's an, I think he's been playing OK in the last few matches. Don't forget, he's, and he's played quite a lot of snooker since the UK final, a couple of qualifiers, which he struggled through and uh, I haven't seen him at his brilliant best yet. Six matches now this will be since Selby defeated him last weekend. 83. He's already made as many centuries this season as he did in the whole of last, 30. 90. Every chance of eclipsing that with this contribution now. 91. <laughs> 98. 99. Well... Not only a century here, but the chance to knock the final red out from the cushion. What a start. Beautiful, wasn't it, Philip? Absolutely glorious start. Didn't move the red, but... Doesn't matter, it was a great break. It was indeed. Terrific start from Ronnie O'Sullivan, as good as he has produced so far. 